these are the top 10 things to do in the New Zealand South Island. If you missed our ultimate guide to our van life itinerary around the New Zealand South Island, you can check out that video right up here. We go through our full itinerary and what it was like living in a van for 10 days through the South Island of New Zealand. In this video, we're going to be going from number 10 all the way to number one, taking you through glaciers to beautiful mountains throughout New Zealand and even going into the beautiful sound. Starting with number 10 is going to be Ferg Burger. If you've never heard of Ferg Burger, it's basically the famous fast food joint in Queenstown. Queenstown is one of the most popular places to visit inside the South Island of New Zealand. And if you've ever heard of In-N-Out in California, that is basically what I would compare it to. The burgers are fantastic. When you arrive, there will definitely be a line, but it is totally worth it. They go through very quick. When you guys go, make sure to get their fat shake definitely get their fries. Their burger is awesome. Definitely taste. I like your description, James. Tastes like a barbecue Memorial Day weekend. And we would recommend heading to Perky's Floating Bar afterwards, eating lunch, taking in the beautiful view in Queenstown. Next up is number nine, Upper Eglinton Valley. If you guys have ever seen Lord of the Rings, that is exactly what this valley makes you feel like. You're gonna see this when you are driving from Wanaka all the way through to Milford Sound. It is the first big opening. There is massive mountains on both sides. There is this huge glacial created valley that runs directly through. It has a bunch of beautiful spots, including Lake Gunn, as well as the stunning views of all the mountains around and even Mirror Lake. So definitely take some time, do some frolicking through the meadow if you guys are up for it. And we would definitely recommend visiting when you head to New Zealand South Island. Number eight is going to be Lake Pukaki. This lake has some of the most beautiful water we've ever seen. And if you guys like glacial fed lakes and are into photography, we would highly recommend booking a helicopter tour here so you can get the incredible views of the glacial fed lakes. Those are the famous shots you always see on Instagram. And we can definitely say it is 100% worth it. Make sure to check the weather before you go though, because it can be very unpredictable and the wind can be absolutely nuts. Coming in number seven is one of our favorite hikes in all of New Zealand, Sealy Tarns. Now, this hike is a total booty kicker. You are gonna hike up 2,000 stairs till you get to this beautiful view of Mount Cook. The great thing is, if you guys don't have enough time to do the full hike up to the famous Mueller Hut, Sealy Tarns gives you a very similar view, but it is about half the length and half the difficulty as it is to get up to the Mueller Hut. So if you guys are in a rush, only have a few days in Mount Cook National Park, we would highly recommend checking out the Sealy Tarns hike, but bring your good hiking shoes. When I was there, I accidentally ripped my hiking shoes. Coming in at number six is the infamous Doubtful Sound. This place is definitely not as famous as Milford Sound, because it is very difficult to get to. You can only get there by going on a tour or taking a cruise through. We were lucky enough to go on a Norwegian cruise line last year and we were able to cruise through Doubtful Sound. The weather was a little bit crazy, but if you guys are looking for some stunning views of the fjords and you wanna take in another less visited fjord compared to Milford Sound, we would definitely recommend looking into booking a tour or even a helicopter tour to get to Doubtful Sound. If you guys are enjoying this video so far and want more New Zealand, content, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. We have a ton of new content coming out this year. But with that, let's go ahead and jump into number five. Coming in at number five, we have the famous Peter's Lookout. Now this is a beautiful lookout off the side of the road heading into a Rocky Mount Cook National Park. And it is absolutely stunning. Like you have this perfect winding road that overlooks the beautiful mountains and you get the bright blue water of Lake Pukaki on your right hand side. And it is breathtaking. It's perfect if you're a photographer, we would recommend getting there either at sunrise or right after sunrise to avoid all the crowds because this is a tour bus stop and it does get pretty crazy in the middle of the day. We also stopped there and cooked up some lunch, just enjoyed the view. Some of our group was even crazy enough to go jump in Lake Bukagi, which is freezing cold by the way, but you can do it. The other best time to go would be at sunset because all the tour buses are gone as well, but it's a stunning destination and you should definitely have it on your New Zealand South Island bucket list, especially if you're a photographer. Coming in at number four is the famous Roy's Peak hike in Wanaka. This is an absolutely stunning hike that takes you up about 4,000 feet of elevation gain and 10 miles 
round trip and it overlooks all of Lake Wanaka, but it is a steep hike. You're going up that 4,000 feet of elevation gain in just about four or five miles. So make sure to bring good hiking shoes and lots of snacks and your 10 essentials because you're gonna be heading up switchbacks the entire time all the way up. We'd recommend starting this hike early. We started about 3.30 a.m. in the morning because we wanted to get up there before it got too hot and crowded and we wanted to watch the sunrise up there. That's the best time of the day to do it or at sunset and make sure to pack a headlamp if you do either sunrise or sunset so that way when you're coming up or down in the dark you will be able to see. There is a little cash fee to do the hike. You can just put it in the envelope at the bottom of the trailhead. There is a bathroom at the bottom about five minutes into the walk as well as at the famous viewpoint right before you start going up the summit of Roy's Peak. Number three we have bungee jumping at the Nevis Bungee from AJ Hackett. It's the tallest bungee jump in all of New Zealand and it's right outside of Queenstown. So you sign up, you go down to the bungee center and they'll drive you about an hour-ish up to the bungee. You can also opt to do a catapult or a swing which is really cool but we recommend doing the bungee jump because New Zealand is especially known for their bungee jumping. They have a ton of different bungee jump sites but this one is 134 meters high and you get to jump out of a gondola overlooking this gorgeous gorge and it's a super fun experience. They just blast a ton of really fun music as everyone's jumping out and they have this really cool see-through floor that you can watch everyone go out of. So if you're an adrenaline junkie you gotta have this on your bucket list for your South Island trip. Coming in at the number two spot for the best things to do in the South Island is Fox Glacier and Franz Josef Glacier heli hiking. You can choose either one of these glaciers. They're about 30 minutes away from each other on the west coast of the South Island of New Zealand and they are jaw dropping. These glaciers are really, really big and there's some really cool caves, crevasses, rock formations, waterfalls that completely surround these glaciers. But if you want to get the full experience, we definitely recommend booking a heli hiking tour. We did a heli hiking tour with Fox Glacier Guides, but there's also Friends Joseph Glacier Guides and a ton of other glacier country helicopter providers. And you will head up on the glacier, you'll get an ice ax and all the gear that you need to head out on the glacier and feel prepared. And they'll take you around to some of the coolest formations walking around the glacier. And you also get to see some stunning views from above inside the helicopter on your way over to the glacier. If you guys are planning a trip out to New Zealand South Island, you can find all the locations we mentioned in this video, as well as our ultimate guide in our thatch guide, which you can find down below in the description box, where we go over all the GPS coordinates. It's a downloadable map. It has all of our tips and tricks from hands-on experience from our two visits down to the South Island and it is completely available offline which is really nice when you guys are actually driving around and doing this yourself. So uh, check it out. Coming in at number one best for last we have a Milford Sound cruise and kayak tour. We particularly love doing this because you get both a full one hour cruise to the end of Milford Sound. We're getting close up experiences with Meter Peak and all of the incredible waterfalls that form in the sound, as well as getting an insane experience kayaking out on the sound. This is a really intimate experience, much less people than the actual cruise part of the tour. And you get to come up close and personal with some of the waterfalls. Depending on what time of year you're there, you might even encounter some penguins. And it's such an insane way to experience Milford Sound. We went out and booked this on Get Your Guide and we'll have all the links that we've mentioned down below for you if you wanna do the exact same tours that we did as well. Now, alternatively, if kayaking and cruising is not your vibe, you can also book an air tour where you can see Milford Sound from above in a helicopter or a plane. And that's a great alternative if you want to see it from a bird's eye view. And that is it for our New Zealand top 10. If you guys want to see our full 10 day New Zealand itinerary and what it was like living out of a van and all the things to not forget before you go to New Zealand, make sure to check out the description for that video. And don't forget all the spots we mentioned are available down below in our thatch guide. And we'll also link our Milford Sound blog with all of our favorite road trip stops on the way. So you guys have some more resources to plan your New Zealand South Island road trip. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And we will see you on the next adventure.